السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته الحمد لله الحمد لله نحمده ونستعينه ونستغفره ونعوذ بالله ونعوذ بالله من شرور أنفسنا ومن سيئات أعمالنا من يهده الله فلا مضل له ومن يضلله فلا هادي له ونشهد أن لا إله إلا الله وحده لا شريك له ونشهد أن حبيبنا وسيدنا وسندنا ونبينا ومولانا محمد عبده ورسوله قال الله تعالى في محكم تنزيله بعد أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم وما خلقت الجن والإنس إلا ليعبدون وقال الله تعالى في آية أخرى بعد أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم الذي خلق الموت والحياة ليبلوكم أيكم أحسن عملا صدق الله العظيم صلى الله على سيدنا ومولانا محمد وعلى آله وأصحابه وبارك وسلم صلى الله على سيدنا ومولانا محمد وعلى آله وأصحابه وبارك وسلم الحمد لله All the praise belongs to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala We send salutations upon the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam Upon the Ahl Bayt, upon all the Sahaba Ridwanullah Ta'ala Alayhim Ajma'een, upon all the Anbiya Alayhim Wasalam. We are grateful to Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala for giving us this Ramadan, for giving us this Quran, for this Iman. Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala has chosen us out of millions of people. Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala has given us this Iman. And this Iman means the key to Jannah. I have a good news, Alhamdulillah. Eid has been already declared it will be on the first of shawwal so it will be on the first of shawwal brothers and sisters at home i have just told you when the eid will be inshallah so do not keep on messaging when is eid when is eid it is on the first of shawwal which will find out inshallah by sighting the moon on the 29th which is today or tomorrow most likely eid will be on sunday but eid what is it Eid is in the hadith Yamul Jaiza or Yamul Jaza if you understand that. Jaza meaning the award, the wages, the recompense. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has given us this day that when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala declares to the angels, the malaika, why are these people here today? So this takes us to Eid Salah which I will explain again inshallah. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala on the day of Eid, when people go to Eidgah, that's a proper place to pray Eid is open field. It comes in the hadith that even those ladies who are not allowed to go to masjid because of those days in the month, they are also encouraged to pass through the Eidgah subhanallah because of the joy and the gift from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, blessings of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala upon the congregation of Eid. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says to the malaika, obviously Allah knows everything, alimun bidat is sudur, not only by seeing, but Allah knows what is in my heart and what is in yours. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala asks the malaika, why are these people here? They say they have finished Ramadan. Fasting is finished and they are here to take from you what you have promised. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala then says, be witness that I have accepted their Ramadan and I have forgiven them. And also remember that whatever Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, whatever they need for this dunya, for this life and the akhirah, inshallah, they come inshallah. Whatever they need for this dunya, they may ask me, and I will accept. My brothers and sisters, let's not make the day of Eid to destroy all these rewards that we have achieved, inshallah. Ramadan is a month where halal becomes haram. Eating, you have food, 
but he did not eat alhamdulillah listening to the command of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala Allah is pleased and happy that I gave you food and you're not eating because I said do not eat in the daylight you have drink do not drink you're thirsty you're not drinking because I Allah said do not drink and you are obeying me you have wives well if you do have them you did not go near them because why even though she's halal for you Allah says because I commanded you not to do anything in the daytime these things break fast making main things Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is then happy with these people and comes in the hadith for them they are daily time for enjoying and this time is for iftar everyone loves to drink some water have a date have some food pakora kebab Allah says that's not it your main jaza will be in the day of judgment when I Allah will come in front of you subhanallah and Allah says I am the jaza for the fasting you will not understand what is the jaza of fast you will see it to believe it without seeing you will not be able to comprehend understand the jaza Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will give for fasting fasting is not that difficult but Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says yes you are refraining from these and I will make it a day for you of happiness which is the day of Eid. Eid means joy, being happy. But my brothers and sisters, we are taking it the wrong way. It is Eid and the night of Eid is also the nights and days of Ibadat. Because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has already declared in the Quran and as I have recited, وَمَا خَلَقْتُ الْجِنَّ وَالْإِنسَ إِلَّا لِعْبُدُونَ Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has created us for His worship. And that worship is not difficult. The youngsters, they, will, they might start getting a bit worried. Yeah, Abu Ustad will say something now and I will be confiscated tomorrow from <coughs> playing games and, you know, if I was allowed to meet friends and eating. No. All I'm saying, enjoy to the max. What do you call it? YOLO. You live only once. You live only once. You can have a joke. Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam had a joke it does not mean you're not humble just doing zikr and that's a gamble just doing zikr and just sitting there is not being humble <coughs> the prophet of allah went to the marketplace in public held the sahabi from the back guess who this is by if i did this today my brothers here will say therefore he's finished you don't go to market sunday market he comes and he holds somebody's eyes and say guess who allah akbar are you and me more pious than the Prophet Islam? We commit zina behind the scene and we become humble in front of the people. I declared Eid day. And the Prophet of Allah said, I joke, but I do not lie. And Eid day is on the face of Shawwal, Alhamdulillah. And when you first said it, oh, subhanAllah, new thing. Eid day is already being declared at Juma time. So the Prophet Islam has taught us how to live our life the halal way. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has given us the month of Ramadan to practice. Now my brothers, the Eid night Isha, I can guarantee all of you feel so light. See, this is nothing easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Last night, I had to pray Isha, pray Tarawi, still my mom and dad is saying pray some Tahajjud. Tonight it is only Isha, so we feel eased. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has given the month of Ramadan to show us that you can do it. It is possible for you. Even the halal food you're refraining from. Then after Ramadan, we refrain from the haram. It's easy. Even tarawi is not very difficult for you. Alhamdulillah, tarawi we enjoy. But it does become a bit tiring sometimes. We are human. And remember, to feel tired, to feel upset sometimes, is not a sin just because eat day you go to eat ga and eat ramadan is going everyone will say it went so fast when it went so fast you feel like it because the quran says subhanallah miracle of the quran the verse of ramadan what does allah say you read allah says i give you ramadan and i want ease for you not difficulty everyone says ramadan how did it go compared to other months alhamdulillah this month for me went 
better. Alhamdulillah. And then we say we are very sad Ramadan is gone. We say it from inside or not. <laughs> Allah knows. But we say, Ma, yaar, very sad Ramadan is gone. Inside we are saying tomorrow KFC or whatever. <laughs> Chicken and chips. My brothers, this kind, this kind of buzurgi does not exist. You do not have to have a long face on the day of Eid. Enjoy and eat. Allah does not want to see us sad. Allah is merciful. Allah wants to see us wearing nice things, having fun on the day of Eid, having fun in our lives. This is why we are allowed to marry four times. Subhanallah. But not to go behind the doors and do other things, <laughs> which many do. Government allows it. Government allows you having one wife, ten mistress. No problem. <laughs> but two wives, this is the problem. My brothers and sisters, Alhamdulillah, Allah SWT has given us beautiful deen. Now time is short. The main point, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, in this ayat, finishing, and this is finishing of Ramadan, ending of Ramadan, tonight might be the last night, last day, tomorrow might be last day, or it might be Sunday, last day. What do you think? There's a possibility of fasting on Sunday? There's no possibility. My brothers and sisters, if you're from the other masjids, they might have a possibility on Monday fasting. Uh, Eid. Khair, alhamdulillah, it's okay for you. Do not create ikhtilaf. This happened in the time of Sahabas. If, so, if the ulama is behind the opinion of fasting and making Eid on a different day, leave it upon them. You enjoy the day. Alhamdulillah, I'm ready for your gifts on Sunday and Monday. My doors are open. Even if you don't find me, I have a friend of mine who gave me a nice uh, ring, which I can see from Bangladesh, who's giving me the presents. Alhamdulillah. A lot of people gave iftari. My wife didn't tell me. She's listening. She didn't tell me. I told her. <laughs> because it automatically comes on the mobile and saves it. So later on when I sit down, oh, mashallah, iftari coming. She's not telling me. So I told her there's so much iftari here, subhanallah. The servants of Allah bring that we have to send it back. Huh? So much and so much are being wasted. May Allah SWT forgive us. We do intend to give it to the dark. Happens or not is another question. My brothers and sisters, Allah SWT says, وَلِتُكَبِّرُوا اللَّهَ عَلَى مَا هَدَاكُمْ وَلَعَلَّكُمْ تَشْكُرُونَ Today, if we find out, tomorrow's Eid. One big sunnah we miss out is to do the takbir of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Allah says here, towards the end of the ayat, وَلِتُكَبِّرُوا اللَّهَ عَلَى مَا هَدَاكُمْ To praise Allah, to say the greatness of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala upon what He has guided you. The Quran is a guidance. Ramadan is a guidance. Deen, al-Islam, Iman is a guidance. So what we do, inshallah, is a sunnah from today, Maghrib, or tomorrow, Maghrib, to, for the men, at home, make it this kind of environment. Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar, la ilaha illallah, Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar, walillahi alhamd. Beautiful, subhanallah, beautiful. This is so beautiful. Say it from Maghrib. Any chance you get, and your child will pick up. Your child will learn and listen. And later on, every year you do this, and they will know this is the atmosphere of Eid. Subhanallah. So from Maghrib till the Imam stands for khutbah, is the sunnah to do the takbir. So inshallah, men will do it a bit louder than and the sisters, you do it uh, silently inshallah. This is one of the sunnah that we forget in the day of Eid. Remember, Eid day is the day of Yawmul Jai, Yawmul Jaza, the day where Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will give us what we want. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will give us our reward. The, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will ask the angels, what happens when somebody finishes their job? We have a, alhamdulillah, plumber here or a builder here doing our wudu area. After he finishes, what do you think we will give him? Thank you, goodbye, only. We'll give him some hadiyah, wages. And just will say, oh Allah, when somebody, a uh, person finishes his job, he gets his wages. Allah will say, now I will give them wages. So we, we have been working for Allah, according to this hadith, in the whole Ramadan. What kind of work have we done? Two meals are still the same, if not better. Normally we eat lunch and dinner. 
midday and then towards the evening. Here we ate towards the morning and again towards the evening. So two meal was the same. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is such a Rahman, Rahim, merciful, gracious that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says no. Even this was a job that you have done for me. Subhanallah. My brothers and sisters, this is why we need to praise Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Every moment Ramadan is going, these are the days Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will free more people from Jahannam than the whole Ramadan. At night, the Prophet of Allah said, a person who stays awake and does ibadat, the day, meaning Yawmul Qiyamah, when every heart will be dead, they will be all just concerned how to be saved from the hellfire. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will keep those people's heart alive. Meaning, you will be happy inside. Allah will make you successful. If you do, ibadat in the night of Eid. Our nights of Eid is even men putting mehendi on. Our nights of Eid, that's it, man. It's finished. Burden is gone. Now do whatever you like. Do not destroy what you have, alhamdulillah. Allah is the one who knows how much we have done for this Ramadan. Just to go over the Messiah of this um, Eid prayer. Even now people are confused. Even now I received a message from a chairman of a Luton Masjid Burhanbai. What shall we say? And I think probably he did not see my message. My brothers and sisters, if you're listening, if you're Hanafi, if you follow the mazhab of Hanafi, your Ahnaf, then we follow the narration of Abdullah ibn Mas'ud radiallahu ta'ala anhu to pray in the time of Salatul Duha for Rakat Nafal. Okay? If you are from the other three mazhab or if you are not following a mazhab and you take the hadith of Anas radiallahu ta'ala anhu, then you can pray your own jamaat with your family at home. It is you who will decide and the imam or the scholar you follow. Do not fight at home. I don't want sisters calling me and saying he is giving me talaq or he gave me bits and I call the police or she gives you bits. It happens also. Just sit down. If you can make your mind up, toss a coin. Whichever one comes. Head or tail? Head for Eid prayer, tail for Abdullah bin Masood radiallahu ta'ala anhu, whichever one. But don't fight. Make it a day of being upset for the kids at home. Because this is the joy Allah, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has given us this day. Eid means to be happy. So the day of happiness. If you're doing Eid Salah or you're doing the four rakat nafal, we will from masjid to help you focus, to get your kids to focus, to get the family to focus. We will broadcast reminders from the member on our transmitter or you can listen from the misla we are out of stock on the radios again i had one for testing i gave that one as well alhamdulillah it shows the brothers and sisters are linking up more to the darul huda alhamdulillah yesterday we had a joke you cannot go to jannah unless you are a supporter of darul huda do you know why that is because you cannot go to Jannah without Hidayat. Generally, Huda means guidance. Without the guidance, you cannot go to Jannah. You can take this on the joke book again. Halal jokes. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has given us this COVID-19. It's a test like the test of the Jal. The Jal will try to reach or reach every place except the Haramain. COVID-19 has reached every place. Subhanallah. This is a test of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. We do not fear anything. We do not fear anything but Allah. One question Dr. Sala asked me today. What's the significance or connection of Rasayun Surah Kahaf with the Jal? Well, there are many con connections inshallah. Some other Juma I will explain inshallah. Time is very short today. I need to speak about what we need to do tomorrow. Yeah, we don't want to be Laila Majnu, stories like other masjids and then finish the day. We need to know what we need to do as Muslims. Like by Brother Sunami he said one very important thing, that before doing a takaf, learn about a takaf. 
before doing Hajj, learn about Hajj. It's no point of debating about Hajj when you go to Hajj. I had uh, three brothers from Bedford. They found me going to the masjid last uh, Ramadan. And uh, may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless them for having this zeal and interest of learning Masail. And it's like they found gold. We found you. We've been trying to call you. I mean, Umrah, how can you call me? Kika, inshallah, our brother, he was a chairman from the other masjid. So they took me to, they asked me to go to their room. But we ended up going to a hotel. Alhamdulillah, food is nice. So we ate and they asked me some Masail. One was a brother in their group. He didn't do the ihram on the plane. He came out of the airport with the ihram in his briefcase. Because what he has done, he put ihram in the big luggage. What do we normally do when we go to Umrah or Hajj? We take our ihram, we wear it or we put it in the handbag. So they were stuck on what he needs to do. My brothers and sisters, it is very important that we learn about this before we go into it. Hajj is once in your lifetime. Learn it before you do it. Similarly, etikaf. If you're going to do etikaf, learn about etikaf before you do etikaf. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give us the time to learn the deen. Now, briefly mentioning the connection between ashab kahaf and the jal there are very important teachings there how to save your iman ashab kahaf were young men they escaped from the king and those people who are after the iman they left everything and they were in the hiding in the cave they hid themselves in the cave when the jal comes this is what we have to do if it's necessary the jal his fetna is in this country we move to another country if it's necessary then we go to a lockdown if the jal comes there will be music on the road there will be fetna everywhere this is covid 19 is a blessing it is a teaching for us for saving us ourselves from the jal the fetna of the jal because my brothers and sisters with my iman i will not be able to be saved from the fetna of the jal i'm telling you May Allah protect me and protect all of us. Because the Prophet ﷺ has warned us, the fitna of Dajjal will be so bad, even the pious people will lose. Because the Dajjal will show Jannah, the Dajjal will show your parents who are under the grave, the Dajjal will show you anything you want to see. If you don't believe that, there is an ayat of the Quran, if you read and blow in your nails, you can see it becomes a TV. I've seen it myself. For some of you, go hocus pocus only uh, is in the movies or the cartoons, Harry Potter's. The ayat of the Quran, if you recite and blow in your name, it becomes the TV. I've seen it myself. If we, as human, have people who practice these things, they can make your nail into a TV, which you shouldn't be doing. If they can make your na nail into TV, then imagine the power of the Jal. The Prophet has said, the Jal will be given so much power. Even the Jal himself will not know that he has so much power. He will keep on showing you magic and this and that. But he will have even more power inside him that Allah has given him. And the Jal is a test for this Ummah. And the COVID-19 is also a test for this Ummah. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala protect us. On the Eid day, that's the night, do ibadat, do tilawat. Yes, if girls are doing mehendi, no problem. Let them do some mehendi. Not for men. Boys, avoid it. Yeah. Pray Fajr. Many people are crazy about Eid Salah. But Eid Salah is not as important as Fajr. Pray your Fajr Salah. Pray in Jamaat. Waking up early for Juma uh, in uh, the day of Eid is also a sunnah. So after Fajr, if you go to sleep, wake up early or even before Fajr. In our countries or even when we were children in this country, my mother used to wake up us before Fajr to have a shower. I remember me and my sisters, all of us having shower before Fajr, which is good for people who are married, Alhamdulillah. It hides a lot of things. But if you're a child, you do this, inshallah. Have a shower early, inshallah, 
and have the intention that is this is from the mustahab this is from the sunnah you will get the reward on the day of Eid al-Fitr in the morning to have odd numbers of dates three dates inshallah yeah it's a sunnah if you do this you get the reward the only thing you're going to be missing and which is dies because of the government restriction is going to eat salah but why miss out on all these sunnats imams need to explain this we need to write and quote these two people so they do not miss out on these rewards so three odd number of dates wear the best clothing that you have if you have new alhamdulillah it's not necessary to have new Umar ibn Abdulaziz, at that time he was a Khalifa, he had two daughters. They came to the father with torn dresses, dresses with holes. They said, oh father, he's a Khalifa, do you understand? Khalifa at that time is richer than you, America and England, kings and queens. These prime ministers, they don't, they have no much of a thing, wealth. When we talk about kings and queens and khalifa, they have a command that they can do anything with the wealth. Do you understand? Prime ministers are not safe. I'm not going to compare to America and England and Bangladesh prime ministers because they live on our tax. King, queen. This is why you need to understand. When we give examples, king, queen, khalifas, they have a command they can do. Okay? Billions of tons of gold and billions of pounds and dollars. They can say, okay, this billion goes to Abbas. Now we come rich. Nowadays the government cannot do this. Everyone will be at the case. If you understand that, then this will be easy for you. Umar ibn Abdul Aziz had the opportunity to say, TK, it's only a few pounds. Give it to my daughters. He said to his daughters, children, he said, Oh my daughters, Eid is not about wearing something new and wearing things. It is about fearing the day of judgment. Subhanallah. It is about fearing the day of judgment. <laughs> fearing Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. As I said before, Allah does not want to see us unhappy. But we need to always keep it in our heart that Allah is the doer of everything. We will face Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So after doing this, inshallah, wherever you have designated, appointed a place that your family will pray your salah, go to that place doing takbir and have the intention inside your head. I know I'm giving you ways to gain reward. I can tell you a lot of stories from the thing now and give you a spiritual boost now. No, it's better that you know what to do tomorrow. Go to the place which is designated. If it's a garden, alhamdulillah, make it like a picnic, put a barbecue on, eat salah or your four at nafal. Go there at 10, start reading to the, listening to the reminders because you will get the reward which are many in hadith. Go with the intention that, oh Allah, I am going to Masjid, I am going to Idgah. Because of the government re restriction, the muftis, ulama have said, spray at home, so I'm doing it. But Allah says, if you're traveling, and if you had the intention that if I was not traveling, I would have fasted or went to Salah, you get the full reward. If you become ill, and you cannot pray, Allah gives the full reward of praying, because you are praying when you are well. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will give you the full reward of going to Masjid. Go there with the intention that I would have went to masjid, but I'm going here because of the restrictions. And keep on saying takbir, listen. And then inshallah, pray your own salah with the uh, family. And make dua to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala because this is the time Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala accepts the dua. Another important thing, if you haven't done it already, is my brothers, there are no beggars outside. So this is why I was saying it at the end. To give fitra. Zakatul fitra should be given before the Eid Salah. As soon as Eid Salah begins, your Zakatul fitr is not valid anymore. Ulama have said it's haram to call it Zakatul fitr because it becomes Nafal Sadqa. So if you haven't already sent it, some people are messaging and I cannot reply to them because my brothers and sisters, you should have understood this before. You're old enough. Many years Eid you have done. So if you're going to send it to Syria and Palestine and Bangladesh and Pakistan, you should have done it. If you send it today, it will definitely not go on Saturday. Everything is closed Friday and Saturday in Bangladesh. <coughs> All you can do is pick, the, pick up the phone, tell someone there, please give this amount from me as my... You have to say it. No one can give your first zakat, your first, without your permission. So you pick up the phone, by Saab or uncle, 
give this amount from my behalf and I'll be paying you after the Eid. Do you understand? But do not start donating now because I will not be able to send it. So Zakatul Fitr has to be given. And who gives Zakatul Fitr? Not, and this is a very big misconception. That if you have the Nisab. No, Nisab is different. Nisab is a person who has stable earning. That he can save an amount every day or every week. It's a person who has enough to eat and more than that at home. So he has enough for that day for, that day for his family. Why? It's only the amount of a meal. So what you're doing, you have a bowl of rice. You know you can survive with this with the whole family. You take a portion for the poor people. So two things in Zakatul Fitr, according to the hadith. One, that Zakatul Fitr is compensation for all the lies and ribbets and all the wrong things we have done unintentionally. This is one, it is for myself. And the second one, is that it is the haq of the poor people for them to eat and enjoy that day. So Zakatul Fitr is upon everyone who has enough for that day and whatever is more than that, then they give that amount, which is now ulama have said five pound, four pound, two eighty, basically. Because it is different amounts. Because in the time of the Prophet Sallallahu they gave it with dates, they gave it with raisins and flowers, so different things. Now, why is it five pound and not two eighty? To be on the safe side and because some of us are very tight so everyone just give it on the safe side because if you go to the upper amount it will be something like 15 20 pounds raisins uh, you know so they might be more expensive so we keep it to a fairly small amount but which is good for everyone and everyone you have to give it the man of the house has to give it on behalf of every head so pay head, Zakatul Fitr is pay head. If you haven't given that, please give it. The Zakatul Fitr has to be given before Eid. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala accept it from us. If you are leading the Eid Salah, do not make it a joke. I am an, I'm going to act as a Spadam Khatib, or I'm a scholar, or I'm an Imam. Be humble in your leading the Salah. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala accept it from me. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give us an opportunity again to get out and go to the masjids. What is this Eid if you do not go to the masjid? My brothers and sisters, make dua to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala tomorrow, inshallah, 10, we will start broadcasting, 10.30, we'll stop, inshallah, and then you can pray your salah, and as I said, take any opinion, whichever you like. Jazakallah khairan, we'll do the khutbah, inshallah. Allah, <laughs> Allah,